In a previous job, I worked for uh, Senator Klobuchar, and we did a forum here on cops and community-oriented policing models. And uh, the senator at the time asked me, who, who are the ones who are absolutely at the front of this issue and are making sure that our streets are safe and that our communities are respected and that our cops are safe? And, well, needless to say, the chief hosted it here at St. Louis Park. And that was my first interaction with the chief, and I found him to be incredibly kind and gracious and professional and, and just so, so smart. Um, and has created a culture, I think, of, of both accountability and accessibility within the police force that we are all rightly proud of. Some words that I would use to describe uh, Kirk is he's professional, 150%. Uh, he's steady. He's extremely knowledgeable. He has great judgment, always provides good advice. And he has an incredibly dry sense of humor and just a sharp wit that I don't know that I have seen anybody else have. So, so John's been with, with, with us since 1977, the year I graduated from high school. <laughs> Sorry, John. Sorry. <laughs> you know, John's got a pretty good wit, too. Uh, so. um, and he, too, progressed through the department and became chief in November of 1997. Now, I would make note that uh, John's promotion was a little unusual, I think, in, in the policing circles, where he was promoted from sergeant, right, John, to chief. That's, that's a big jump. And... Um, not surprisingly, it was a great decision by the city manager at the time. I cannot take credit for John's promotion to police chief, but I have to say it was an incredible decision that Charlie Meyer made back in 1997. So, uh, John, you should feel very good about that. John is a strong leader. John is all about leadership. He's taught me a lot about leadership. He's taught me a lot about life, actually, to be honest with you. And that's his greatest gift. He's also a person of strong values. Uh, of principles. He's a very principled person and uh, the utmost integrity. And I can't think of anything more important that you want in our police chief, and I can only hope we can find that in our next chief, John. But I think most of all is that both of you have really exemplified and helped the department um, be one where it generates a lot of trust with our whole overall community. And I think that is an absolutely critical um, thing for our police department to have the trust um, and respect of the community. It it's so much better for how our community operates and for public safety. So I will miss you both and I wish you well in your retirement. But I tried to engage them both about what are your future plans and both of them kept circling back to really how much they're going to miss working at the city and how they're proud of the way this city has developed and how the people here have an opportunity to be supported in the community and to move up and make a better life for themselves. And it was really quite uh, thrilling for me and, and, and energizing to hear them speak so favorably about the community that they've had a really significant impact on creating the environment here. So thank you very much for that. Thank you for your leadership. Uh, uh, your public service has truly mattered to this community. Uh, I, I, I'm proud of, I think we're all proud of, the strong community-oriented policing uh, and the trust that's been established uh, through your leadership and through uh, everyone uh, in the police department. Uh, and for that, I'm incredibly grateful, not only for ourselves today, but for my kids into the future. So thank you very much for your service uh, and your leadership. You both will be greatly missed. Your leadership will be missed and uh, Mr. Harmoning has big shoes to fill uh, as, as he makes decisions moving forward, so thank you. So professionally, as a council member, I've, I'm very proud um, to have had the opportunity to work with you, and I will say as well, personally, with an older mother in St. Louis Park and two high-spirited teenagers, I've had personal experiences <laughs> with the police department as well, yeah, and it's always been with the utmost uh, professionalism, and we appreciate that as well, so thank you. And it's people like John Lewis and other Rotarians, other people who have said, we need to do this. We can make the world a safer, healthier, better place to live. So on behalf of the many Rotarians present and, and those who have left us. John, thank you so much for everything that you have done for this community and how you've supported Rotary, making a difference 
in our community as well as across the globe. Thanks a lot. You've also been a part of the GARE program, and that's the Government Alliance on Race and Equity through the League of Minnesota Cities. And uh, you know, you're one of the few chiefs that are, are there at, at that meeting. So not only do you have a commitment to the community, but really uh, looking at race and equity in the community of St. Louis Park. And for that, I really do commend you, Chief. You, you were doing this long before uh, this year, but, but that only shows that this is a subject very near and dear to your heart. I think in an age when people move jobs often, um, you all have not collected a paycheck from another police department. <laughs> and that says something about you, and I hope it says something about us. And when I say us, I mean us that two people would choose to spend their entire working careers in the lives of people who live in St. Louis Park. Because unlike, you know, my day job or maybe somebody else's day job, these folks are literally in our lives. And they see us oftentimes at our worst moments, right? When, when we need help the most. And for that, we are eternally grateful to both of you. And I just, Tom will not replace either one of you. We will find someone to have the title, <laughs> but you will not be replaced. And again, I truly appreciate the opportunity that this city uh, has given me uh, throughout my career. And uh, thank you. I've been blessed to be able to work in a place like this. There's no, uh, there's probably no similar situation that I can think of in my peer group where someone can speak about an experience that's gone on for 19 years as a chief and 39 as a police officer in a place where the community does what it does the way that it does. So uh, I've been blessed. I, I'm, I'm here retiring tonight with uh, Kirk Lorenzo, who not only has been a trusted advisor to me, but a great friend. Trust gets built every day in a variety of ways. Um, we've built trust with nonprofits, with our public and private schools, with our neighborhood leaders, I hope with you. Um, but trust is, is the pivotal point about quality of life. And when Robert Peel said, policing is consensual, he knew exactly what he was talking about in 1829. The people of the community give us permission to police them. Our, our, our philosophy has never been about tickets and arrests. You're never gonna ticket or arrest your way out of the problems that really afflict our society today. Um, and I'm, I'm really proud of the fact, that at least in a small way, that Kirk and I have had a chance to, uh, to be part of this. And I, I feel like I've probably taken more than I've given in my 39 years. But I, I was telling Tom that, you know, people start in this profession, when we interview them, they always say, I want to make a difference. That's why I want to be in police work. And when they retire, and here I am, hoping I made a difference. So uh, that's what I have to say. Thank you all who are here for being here, and thank you, Mayor and Council and Tom, for all your support.